Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Today is the maiden voyage, the very first cook on the Pit Boss Ultimate Griddle. Hey, you guys have spoken, we have listened, and smash burgers, dang it, here we come. The question is, can you get the crust? We're about to find out. All right, just a quick rundown over the ingredients before we even get over to that beauty. Had to switch things up a little bit. It's not perfect. We got some other things coming, but just bear with us for the new uh, arrangement here, right? Today, no different. Our, we love our brioche buns. I got some 80-20 ground beef. Just got some cheese and your toppings. Today is not about what you put on the smash burger. Today is about the number one topic since I announced that we joined with Pit Boss, right? Can the ceramic coated nonstick griddle get a crust? Can the griddle hold up longevity wise? Do you use metal utensils? Every question that you have in your head right now is the same question I have. Let's get started. All right, without further ado, nothing special. Turn the propane on at the source. Hope I don't blow up. Let's see here. Turn the eyes on. You guys can hear it. Nice little ignition. And voila, we have liftoff. That was easy. Breezy. The knobs are beastly. I know that. I know when you look underneath it, if you guys are interested, one thing that's definitely different. By golly, when you turn the heat up, the flame definitely changes. That's for dang sure. This thing could get some heat on it in a hurry. All right. Time-wise to preheat, I have no idea. This is literally the first cook. I, all I've done is basically just wiped it down with a little soap and water, uh, clean the flat top off. And uh, so this is our very first time messing with it. So there might be some adjustments that need to be done, but we'll show you that all in one process. All right. While this is preheating, probably need to turn it down a little bit. If it's anything like my other one, you probably want to turn it preheated on low. I don't know if this thing can warp or not. So we'll start on low and they'll raise the temperature up from there. All right, I'm going to get the burgers measured out. Try to clean up a little bit really quick. Another question you guys had, what about utensils? You have to use metal utensils or, or uh, rubber. For right now, I am using silicone. Um, let this be very wary for you guys that are looking for silicone. Okay. I have an idea of how hot this thing gets. There is silicone out there that ranges from like 375 to 425 ish. Well, if your flat top gets hotter than that, your utensils are no good. Okay. These specify they are 600 degrees. I doubt my flat top gets 600 degrees. So I feel confident these will work. I do not know if I like them or not, but I do know that we might've already found the secret to all my worries. You guys know I'm a spatula fiend. And this bad boy just automatically looks like, I've been out here playing like this. <laughs> practicing. Yeah, yeah, practicing just for the spatula. So get those knocked out. Let's get that spring heated up. We'll be right back. And speaking of spatulas, hey, this is just how it is. So like I said, I bought my new set. I've had this one already. And you guys can see the plethora of spatulas. It's been brought to our attention that there's a lot of times somebody will click on a link for the spatula that I prefer and it sends them to another redirect. That's not us, I can promise you. But what we've done is we went online and we've scoured the earth for different options, okay? So what we try to do is try to find a replica that you guys will be comfortable with. So coming up soon, we're very soon, we're gonna be doing a spatula only review slash video to get you guys in the know-how of uh, what spatula to look out for, what other alternatives there are. And if you're interested, I know for a fact this bad boy's already made in the USA and I know some people really appreciate that. All right. All right, there you go, guys. So we're shooting about 430, 450, 470, 400, somewhere through there, okay? So that's, that's, a, that's a pretty high temp. I don't know if it's traditional. I know what you guys are thinking, it's nonstick. Why do you have to add oil? Personally, it's a personal preference. I just think it helps the the uh, the surface. All right, I'm going to just place 80-20. They're about three-ounce balls. So, well, that's a good sign. I 
I'm gonna treat this just like a standard smash burger. I'm not gonna try anything different first. I wanna see how this comes off the griddle. Can we get the crust? I don't care what happens in the video. It's about can we get the crust? I got some non-stick parchment paper. We're gonna do the same thing. 10 seconds. I think one thing I've noticed is the fact that since it is a non-stick coating, that the burger spreads a lot quicker on this than it would on my Kent Chef. I, I, I think that so far, since there's nothing for it to hold on to, it, it's really, really, really easy. I have no idea what to expect. It's gonna be a flop or fail. Flop or fail? That's both bad. <laughs> All right, Pitball sent me some of this bold burger rub. I've done a little, and it's good. It's good. I'd use it. While this is going, I'm going to toast my buns. Just dab it some of that burger grease. Got to use my fancy dancy spatula. I don't know. I'm not. I don't know if I'm sold on these yet. I oh 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 oh. Speaking of tools, this is why I got this one. I knew I forgot to say something. Okay, so you know you know that I like my bench scraper, right? I, I, mean, I use it all the time to clean the griddle, to do anything, flip stuff. This has a flat edge. I don't know if you can see that. It's pretty flat. So this was my idea for the scraper. So I've been told several times, you know, you can buy a scraper with a handle on it to get your hand off the flat top. That's something I'm not used to just because I'm so used to the actual scraper. But see how that's rounded? See the difference? Yep. So this is going to be my scraper. See how easy that is? But this one right here might be the star of the show. All right, you want to play peekaboo? Oh, I got a glimpse. That was good. <laughs> we might be on to something. Now listen, from this point forward, it's not about whether or not I like the pit boss. The only thing that I'm gonna show you is the proof is in the pudding, which means when you ask me a question, I'm gonna try to replicate it on the griddle because I know what you're gonna say. Oh, he's sponsored by pit boss. Oh, his views are supposed to be swaying in that direction. No, 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 no. If this gets a crust, that, that, that at least answers 50% of the questions. Look at that dang reaction right there. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, my God. Oh. Uh, you can say what you want. I know I could be missing a little bit right there. But look, four patties, almost 100% coverage. Come on now. Come on. Hey. If that's good enough for you, it's good enough for me. And to clean it, all we're doing is this. That looks easy. So easy, I think my wife's got a new job. <laughs> look, all that fawn, look at it coming right up. Look at that. You don't sit there and scrape it. Cheese on the flat top comes right up. All those little burnt bits. You could close the lid on these if you wanted to, to add another effect, like the steam effect. I'm just gonna show you how easy it is to clean. And this is where the rubber spatula too, the silicone spatula. So it looks like to me that it's working great. This is our first cook on it, like I said. So, you know, there's a lot of experimenting to go on. Just take all that, move it over. All right, I just got some mayonnaise and mustard on the bottoms. Remember, this is not about how to build the burger. This is all about the crust. Can you get the flavor? I think you guys saw the reaction. The reaction, I think, to me was fantastic. It, far exceeded my expectations.
I don't, I thought it was going to be grayish meat, but I didn't see that. I think when you eat enough of these, you know that taste that you're looking for. All right, guys, there you have it. Did that help you? Does that ease some of the questions? There's a long ways to go on it, but before we even take a bite, it's cooled down enough to clean. So I'm gonna take a bite, then we're gonna show a short video of it cleaning. Before I take a bite, I wanna reach out to you guys. You guys have helped me along the way. So now it's basically my turn to reciprocate. Reciprocate. Thank you, that word, back to you guys. This little area right here, I want one of those bad A flags that people make out of wood, one of those wavy ones, and then they like burn them and then they stain them. So if you guys know somebody out there that's got a company that does that, tell them I'm looking for one. They need to reach out to me or you guys need to reach out to me because I want to get one made for our wall right here. All right. All right. Here we go. <sighs> Big old bird. Want some smash burger. <laughs> Mm, that looks good. How is it? I think it's fantastic. I do not think if you compared it to another one that the average Joe is going to be like, man, you made this on a nonstick griddle. Nah, nope. Let's clean it up real quick. Ready? I've got less than 60 seconds. Paper towel, grease. So it's cooled down, obviously. It's warm. My hand's on fire. But it's cool enough to where I feel like I can touch it and get away with it. I don't think we have to worry about the residual heat as much on this one as we do on the other one. Just, inter just interested to see how it reacts with some water. All right, there you go. Now what I do, while it's warm, you don't need a lot. You're not trying to season it. You're just trying to protect it. I'm gonna protect it just like I do mine. I don't even know if it needs it, but that's what I'm doing until somebody tells me otherwise. All right, guys, there you go. Cook number one, down in the books. I hope you learned something in this video. Yes, it can. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button. Till next time. Hey, what are we cooking?